I don't I, I swear, I swear if we see some goats, uh, it's lagging, gonna, dude. goats is gonna be resting. Please, no triple support. I really do triple support and so can't. I really don't want to see that. Dude, we did it. We did goats on Nambani with Sim, bro. We TP'd up top. <laughs> it was actually a rush that. We TP'd up top with Ryan Zari and three supports. And just sped into them. And Sim put turrets on the point. <laughs> nah, it was just a random game. It was a low queue. Oh, oh. Yeah. yeah. Dude, I'm Dude. telling you. Yeah. Nair's uh, about uh, to uh, fall uh, to flat. Is he? <laughs> yeah, dude, he was just 3600. Yeah. He is. 3100. I don't know. It's been 8. I don't know. Dude, like, don't, I wouldn't queue at the end of this. Oh yeah, me and Logo, me and Logo were destroying people. Really? <laughs> yeah, I gained like 150 SR, and like we were like we went like five and zero. You were pogging out on Doomfist and everything. Dude, you're gonna get masters soon, yeah. brother. Ah uh, yeah, dude, the GM, the the top five guy said he said I could be GM if I just practice my aim and shit. Oh really? Your aim? Yeah. Well, it's not like I, I apparently I've been using two low sends, but too low. I'll talk to you after this. After this. I'll tell you everything. Alright, welcome, boys. Okay, what's the countdown? What's it? Now they're feeding. Aqua's gonna keep pushing, it looks like. Uh, Rhine Shield is down. Far is already close to her ultimate. This is looking really bad for uh, Aqua. Mega feed. Oh, big oh, hook! What, what the hell? Oh, the fair oh. lit somehow, and he gets his barrage. He gets his barrage up. This could be a fat barrage. Is he gonna go in for the feed barrage, though? They, they probably don't even know that he's, he has he's gonna, it ready. For a feed barrage, I feel like, dude. Oh no, he's once waiting. They go, once they go through, once they go through. Oh, here he comes. Oh, it's fucking bad, dude. It's a 5k. Oh, it's a 5k, dude. Holy <laughs> shit. Oh, Let's see if God. is Aqua gonna swap off of goats? They better. Are they going to swap off of goats? He's a 2400 Genji. Oh, yeah. Aqua, they swap off of one of their uh, tanks for McCree. 
double hit scan. Wow, they just they just saw the fair and they just shit themselves. Oh, they're on dive now. They're running. Wait, they're running Winston Diva with double hit scan. This is a strange comp. You know, hey, you gotta kill that fair forehead. Oh, he almost got yoinked. If that McLean got yoinked, it, he would have died. The monkey wasted his bubble trying to protect his team, so now he's gonna have to wait before they engage. Looks like Aqua just doesn't know who to jump right now. They're just kind of waiting. Oh, comes in, yeah. oh dog, or the Winston gets hooked and picked off. They're gonna keep trying to go right. They're, they're all low in there. SMM could push this, push the advantage here. Everyone is so low. McCree is literally 1 HP. Mercy's gonna die too. They're all just gonna die. There's no way they can get out. And Fair has almost another block. There is no answer for this Fair. That's big. Double hit scan and the Fair is still carrying. And they aim though. Big. And he gets him. Fair's got another barrage. They've got Bongo and. They've got like all their ultimates online. This is yeah, gonna be yeah. another team SMM fight. SMM has probably. a huge ult advantage. Yeah, if they Enjoy waste the all their ults there uh, here Enjoy though, that will not very be. Very good play, KK. They, they could just win the nano barrage here. Honestly, they could just nano barrage and win this. Yeah, There's a diva though, so he has to watch about watch it being eaten. Fair is looking for the barrage here. Kuma has to land these shots, otherwise his widow is not gonna be effective. Well, look, they're kind of just lost. They don't know what to do. Dive comes in up top. Fair is gonna dive oh, the widow. Oh, he solo ults the he solo ults the widow. Oh, but Reaper gets a huge, uh, huge blossom. Eva must have been out they used of every single one of their ults though. SMM used every single one of their ults. Yeah, they all used to kill. Not That's a huge dagger on the soldier though. That's a huge dagger on the soldier. I love how they nano barrage to solo widow. <laughs> Let's see. I'm gonna spectate the sol uh, the soldier on Aqua. Let's see if he can make a big play with this visor here. They have a huge ult advantage now. They have both support ults and they have uh, attack visor. It's really up to the monkey right now. But Winston needs to make space for his team so they can go They're in. They're balking in their visor. Oh, huge shot. That's a huge pick from Widow. Killed the mercy. That's an oh, no. advisor though. An advisor. It's a 5v5 right now. He gets res. It's a 6v5. Back down to a 5v5. Soldier's pushing on the point. Lowest, low HP. While his whole team is getting picked off in the back. Reaper's doing work. Looks like SMM's most likely just gonna hold this right here. Oh wait, never mind. Soldier's bringing it back. Oh, it's a huge. Oh, it's a huge. Blossom and Mirage. Oh, unlucky. Wow, and SMM. Barely full holds. That was crazy. wow, dude. They held it even after they wasted all their ults, dude. Holy shit! They used all their ults that one fight, and they still held they, it. Yeah, they needed to have a cleaner dive, though. Like, that, uh, Aqua just Aqua just didn't use their ults very. They used their ults very poorly. Like they valked too early. The soldier didn't get any value of his visor. They just they did not have a good comp, and they just didn't use their ults in the right and in the good in a good way. Mm -hmm. Just looked really sloppy from Aqua. They didn't really have a clean dive on anyone. They never dived anyone, or they never. Right, dove even anyone if you look at it from both sides, like target. both were very slow. Oh, they're running goats. The yeah. Oh god. <laughs> goats, lol, dude. And actually, goats is really good on Horizon, as long as they you can use their diva to eat some of the stuff. What the hell, Bastion comes. Bastion. Oh, they have a Bastion. Oh no, oh, no, god. dude. If there's a Bastion, I'd been so excited. Hanzo's yeah, a really is. good pick here. Hanzo does high damage. And he can help shred goats, but he's gonna need something else. May, that's that's a good pick. May helps destroy goats comps. Do you They're really gonna run a May and a Hanzo, huh? Oh, okay, May and a Widow. May and a Widow. That's good, just to stop the um, fair in case they want it, because that fair was very prevalent. I need to see some nutty plays from this May, dude, on Team Aqua. Yeah, Kuma's like one of the, I think, the only player on Aqua that made any pick outside of an ultimate. Dude, if he gets if he gets a nutty wall like onto the Rhine or something, that'd actually be huge, dude. Yeah, or if they just let the goats come to point and then they just squeeze them off. Like May is very good at in CC, so we'll have to see how they run this. Also, yeah, if SSM wants S F S F if S M M wants to win, they're not gonna go up the stairs because there's a lot of spam. 
There's a lot of spam and there's a ooh late swaps and coming a, from. And there's a may wall that they could use to block off. Yeah, they should not. They they would, if I was them, I would probably go left. Just stay as clear as I way from the spam as I can. They probably are going to with goats. They're probably gonna go right to point. If they don't, that'd be like really weird. Yep, here they come. We'll see if Kuma can get a nutty wall off. Oh, that's actually an NA wall. But yeah, and he's just oh, gonna get wow. picked off. And it's just Ooh, gonna snowball and <laughs> SMM is just Those. gonna get from here. Those. That was a really <laughs> bad wall. He got it off way too late. They were already pushed in. And SMM, SMM is just gonna clean up. They're gonna kill this hog on the point and Why are you so that's goats for a resident fucking sleeper, dude. <laughs> <laughs> hey, dude, you're completely right. Like, what, a fun, goats... what a fun and interactive experience, dude. Great <laughs> yeah, fucking game. Like XCC. I love seeing goats. Right, no, dude, I like actually seeing that Farah nut on goats. That was actually Pog, dude. That <laughs> was actually Pog. Holy they shit. had no awareness. Look at they this floor, bro. What is he doing? He's pushing in on the point. <laughs> It's like, dude, honestly, he would have got staggered anyway. So it's, it's better that he died. Because they could have staggered him so hard there. <laughs> wow. What a match. That and was let's a hope far this carry. doesn't dictate what goes on in.
Apple C is a living meme. Why is this junk? Horizon and Junker, dude. What is this? <laughs> <laughs> Map Pulsey is Horizon, Junker, I can walk Oasis. So it kind of gets less cancer as it goes on. Dude, that is actually AIDS. Holy shit. <laughs> <sighs> Horizon and Junker, man. I'd rather do Junker than Horizon, honestly. Let's see what they run with here. As long as we don't see goats, I guess. Man, Double yeah. sniper comes out for oh, FMM. No. Just as AIDS, dude. Double sniper. What's with more AIDS? Double sniper or goats? <laughs> I think goats, honestly. <laughs> because goats is, um. Pig fog. Pig, pig fog? Pig dog, oh. Ink? Um, basically because, wow, they're attacking and wearing a triple support composition. I'm cheesy yawning on casting. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> I saw, I saw Roadhog on attack and I yawned. No, I was just <laughs> No, I was just saying that they, they should either be running a Bastion Widow or they should be running Double Sniper again. Because uh, you I want to see a Doomfist, brother. Doomfist on this map. Yeah. <laughs> this is not their message. Alright, so let's see what they run. Defense. Yeah, SMM has a very a good composition, except honest, very interesting. Especially because snipers are so relevant on Junker Town. Like if one of their snipers gets picked, there's no best to help combat that. Actually no, they have shit high, never mind. So they have a going they have Ana. Double sniper, Arissa Hog, and Ana Mercy. Then the other team has also Hog or Arissa Hog, a sniper. They're running three support though, which is actually right. AIDS. Okay. I, I want to see. I want to see this widow pop off. Yeah, we need to see Kuma. Like again, like we were saying, we need to see Kuma step out of his role and help his team out. Really, they it doesn't look like they're comfortable with the double DPS composition because Kuma's not. He's gonna have a very hard time. Ooh, what a flank! Oh, I. Dang, Tata's popping on the Widow. There's no shields and there's no damage coming in. Ooh, Zemma got a nice pick. Vezu's gonna come for that though, probably. If Kuma doesn't get some picks, man, it's over for them. Yeah. For Aqua. You bet, bro. Let's see, do they make switches? Vegeta is not very good against a double sniper composition, that's why it's so meta. So they need to I feel like they need another DPS to help out Kuma too. Like if he loses these Widow 1v1s, they're gonna need like a Genji or something. Looks like they're swapping. Oh my lord, he got hooked. Wow. He just got... Okay, Lucio. Lucio, Vine. No they going Goats? They're going Goats. They're going Goats. No, this is like... This is the same kind of Goats we were talking about. Like... There's no Moira on point, so it's not, the kills are not going to be as powerful. The spam is not going to be easy, so. They just need to go at him, that's what GOATS is. They're a little hesitant, they're finally taking the fight. Here we go. Slept line, wow, that was a clutch three. He's dead. That's huge. Yep, and now it's a feed. Now GOATS becomes a whole feed. Look how fast ultimates are coming. Yeah, there you go. Goats and the double sniper is also not the best pick because your healers are just gonna get picked off eventually. And look at look at the ults on goats. Like they should they really should have a diva. They need a diva. Because right now hog is like a huge feed. Biggest feed character in the game. Oh what a hook. Wow. That was an amazing halter combo by SS SMM. It totally staggered Kuma. They need to be running the same composition. They need to have a they need to have a double sniper, you know, or they're not gonna really do much because they can't contest these snipers. Look, these snipers are just like standing out in open. Yeah, they need, need either scared. dive or a sniper of their own, definitely. Nano comes in, and Tommy, they are investing everything in this fight. Huge slam gets three. Any follow up? There's not a lot of follow up damage, so 
we're gonna have to see what happens. Tata looking for a pick on the back line still. Huge anti nade. In. Really shuts down Ghost. Their healer going is on. already picked off. That's another bongo. They're just farming ults off of this goats now. Uh, again, it's a huge feed. It's a huge feed. Like that's like that's why goats like goats is a very powerful composition when you know how to run it. And They're not focusing that. any specific targets though. That's the thing. They're kind of going just straight at it. Oh, that's look at a that huge position. Pick. Look at that. Widow's not scared of anyone. See, that's why she can sit up there. Like, you need to make the Widow, even if you're not winning the Widow duel, you still should have a Widow just to, or a Hanzo, just to keep the other Widow under tabs. Because she shouldn't be allowed to keep it, like, to, like, show her face like that. Again, look at that. Double Sniper is just killing the fuck. Widow finally got picked off. You're just gonna get res though. There's a Brigitte solo on the flank, he gets picked off. It's looking like SMM is gonna full hold this. It's just like, they've been getting like three ultimates every fight. Like they've consistently used one to two ults every single fight. And they still have so much. Like that's, that's, that's like, this is like goats. They finally got their grab, but it was at the end of the round. Yeah, it was unlucky. Again, like Zarya isn't very good against double sniper. Like you need to run a double sniper composition of its own, or just go full dive to stop a double sniper composition. Because like they're staggering sight lines, they're playing it properly, they're doing halt hook combos. So the only thing you would need to like the the way you would match this kind of intensity is by playing it back. Looks like Bastion on defense. Bastion, Junkrat. This is very interesting. Double shields. Let's get it, dude. Double shields, very interesting. Yeah, they really wanna um, protect the president here, huh? You think this will work for uh, Aqua? Um, no. I don't think so at all. With the comp that, <clears throat> with the comp that they have right now, though, uh, SMM. One fella will destroy this composition. If I was Tad, I would just go off there immediately. Just go pharmacy. But even then, Bastion's just gonna destroy. I mean, Hanzo and Widow are just gonna melt their shields. Like, Bastion's gonna. I don't know, this is gonna be interesting. Look at it. I'd be very surprised if this ends up walking. Bastion's already almost dead. Yep, there you go, dude. Wow, the Widow is just popping off, dude, from SMM. Actually nutty. All he had to do was really pick their healers and then, just like that, it was over. Yeah, then double shield is not very good. Where did he... Did he just flank with Widow, or where did he yeah, go? Yeah, he flanked. Oh, yeah, he flanked with Widow. Cool. And just picked them off. Yep. <laughs> Dang, dude, he popped off. Very nasty. Nasty.
Fella Chase. All right, me likes. It's actually not a bad composition. Samba, Decky, dude, this is Samba. Pog, dude. I want to see Doomfist. <laughs> Give me Doomfist or Riot. Oh, they're playing the defensive fair, huh? Yeah, a lot of teams run defensive fair here. Samba's uh, an anomaly, but. I want to see Doom, Doom Samba, dude. That's what I've been. That's what my team's been running in open, dude. <laughs> when you just hack the main tank. Yeah, bro. We we'll just hack with Gita. You hack the hero on the team that is most ability dependent, and then you just dive. Elisa Hog, Vine Zarya. Two tank duos. Let's see how it goes. Let's see if um, Tata yeah, is going to keep Look how aggressive popping. Samba is in the position. Team Aqua Fair is already low and he's already picked off. Holy cow. Samba is the res. Tata do a bunch of damage already 60% towards his ult. Doesn't do much else. That's a that's a huge kill actually. Mercy's low. They could possibly kill us. They need Mercy. to contest that Fairhood. They're just letting him go free, dude. Yeah, he's already 80% on his ult. So it's like he's gonna have his ult for the next fight already. And it's gonna gonna win it for him pretty much if they don't counter it. They need a diva and they need it fast. They need a diva and they need a McCree or a widow. He's gonna, he has barrage already. He's already looking for it. Oh, he's gonna pick off the enemy fair. And the mercy's yep. out of position. He could get picked off too. He's looking for. Oh, big barrage coming in. He gets the mercy, but that's really all they need. It's gonna win him the fight. Where are the swaps? We need those swaps fast. Team Aqua Ryan's gonna have a shatter for next fight. I wanna see this. If he can come in with a big shatter. If he can get through choke. Gonna start pushing Aqua's in here. Is getting suppressed so bad right now. Aqua's gonna start pushing in here. Now. Getting spammed out by the Pharah still. His shields are, are almost already broken. He's gonna go around. Oh, he's gonna get a huge shatter on the Ana, but he's gonna get <laughs> to picked off. Holy cow! The Ana's dead though. That's actually a big, big kill for them. But they're gonna, they're gonna get picked though, and they're gonna hold this. It looks like. You pop it. You pop the Pharah is just uncontested. He's just raining down damage. Huge fix. He has another ultimate. Yeah, Farah's already got another barrage. Man, you reminds me of me in Cascade. <laughs> <laughs> let's see. SMM, let's see if they if they overuse their ultimates again. We don't we don't want them to use, overuse their this ultimates. Like this is a Farah's dream, dude. You're winning the Farah duel and no one else can touch you. Yeah. Hit him with right clicks. <laughs> They've got all their ults online this fight. Let's see. Let's see if uh. I'm looking for an EMP barrage right now. Look, Samba's getting in position, so that's what we'll call Yeah, an EMP for. barrage would be nutty here. Yeah, he's getting riled up for it. Yep. Here it comes. Oh, no, wait. He's split up. Oh, he picks off the Pharah without even ulting. And he's gonna barrage here. Oh, he gets the Zarya. Oh, they're using beat anyways. Aqua's gonna use beat for whatever reason. They think they can still oh. win this fight. <laughs> but they're Please. just gonna feed more ultimate charge. We need that cont I think Kuma has not been visible this whole game. It looks like SMM used all their ults. Well, they, they have a uh, supercharger coming in the next fight. This isn't a very tracer friendly composition he's running into either. Hog, Elisa, Ana, Farah, Team Aqua, team, uh, team Aqua's Farah has an ult here. Let's see if he can get a big bur- Oh my god, he just gets killed right as he walks out of spawn. Holy cow. They're just Look getting absolutely- Look how aggressive absolute. he is. Look how aggressive. Like, and that's- Oh, they finally get a McCree. Aqua finally gets a McCree with 30 seconds left. I think it's a little too late though now. If this Farah can't make a play here for Team Aqua, um, it's gonna be over for them. 
He's already getting pressured by the Ana. The Ana's putting a ton of pressure on him, and he's already dead. He he's not even able like to that. get his ult out. And the Pharah already has another barrage for on Team SMM. He has his third barrage, and he's not even going to need to use it because it's already it's already pretty much over. Wow. Holy cow. Team Aqua just they they need to get they need to get their, their stuff together. Their their comps are just just not good. They're taking yeah, way too. They're taking. Team. They're taking SSM way too long to swap. SSM is a team from the tw the other community tournament called Amateur Watch, and they are not. They are come showing us what they can bring to the table. They know the Pharah has to come this round. They ran the Pharah on defense, so they're going to be running it on attack. Yeah, that is. Kuma takes Pharah this time. Oh, Kuma's feeling up to the challenge now, huh? Why? Did they have two projectiles knowing that there was a fair Oh, they're running goats. Two projectiles is fine, but look. If they, if SMM loses this fight, then they will immediately go to a fair of their own. And unless Kuma can, can single-handedly contest with the other fair, then they have nothing really to contest him. Yeah, this could actually be huge for um, Aqua. They could hold this here. They have a really good comp for goats. Mm -hmm. They're drunk rat and fairy here, which is actually like pog. So this is actually their game to. Uh, well, I don't think they can win. They can only draw, right? No, they they can take it to about five. No wait, no, no, no. Yeah, they. they, they no, they I'm saying they can't that. win this map though, because they didn't get it. No, they can't win it. They can, yeah, they can only. They, yeah, they can. So I guess they they could draw this game with the way it looks right now. They've already lost the real like the actual like best out of four. But... Let's see if Kuma can uh, do some work here. Ghost comes in. Let's see the rollout they take. Don't got spam comes in. Mine's trapped. Where's the Ferris spam? We need that spam. Not seeing a lot of spam damage. Oh, they both have kind of got split. They're panicking right now. They need to know what to do. They're going right in the second. Rotation is pretty clean. Brigitte's left out in the open. They need to punish that Brigitte. Oh, no. She's back to the too slow. There we go. Holy cow. Lucio is gone. I come Wow. Wow, the goats. The Kuma's just Kuma just can't get a pick off anyone and it's over. They just didn't have the target focus. They weren't they weren't focusing a specific target and they just got rolled. By goats. How did the Junkrat die so quick? What happened to him? Um he died when he used his ultimate. Oh dude. Nasty. Very solid fair aim. And he was uncontested. You, can, you have to contest the fair. And this is when you have to contest that carry because he is uncontested and he's not even, like, he's not even scared. Like, you saw how aggressive he was. He was, like, in their faces. We'll have to see what they do with this last map. Aqua do, they just, do they just not have a hit?
I really want to see a Doomfist, though. Genji tries to dive and fails Soldier 76. So we have seen some pro teams running Soldier 76s in this map. Specifically, um, Los Angeles Gladiators in the playoffs against London Spitfire, in which Prophet decided to dick all over them. But, we'll see if they can pull it off. Remember that dude? Did you watch the finals? No. Gladiators tried to run a Soldier 76 on this map, and like, Vaudring and Prophet just like, cucked on them. They're running Ryan Zari on this map? Oh, it looks like Ryan Hog. This is a dive map, they need to be playing dive composition. I feel like SMM is just gonna go ham, holy shit. Let's see if, uh, Tada can pop off on the Genji, dude. I'm looking at Kuma, dude, I'm looking at Kuma. Getting high ground immediately. He's so aggressive. Almost gets Kuma. They're coming on the ground with the jump pad. They're all going. Oh, nice pick. That was a good kill. Dive so comes in on the on the mercy for Team Aqua. Kuma but is it's Kuma's, pop, Kuma's popping off though. Yeah, carries and low years. I'll tell you that. What was that, you guys? Dude? Yeah, Kuma's so happy. The dive was so sloppy. The dive was so sloppy on the SMM spot. Uh, they just hey. swap off. They swap off completely to Ryan Zarya and McCree. Interesting. They look, they're looking at Connor the Pharah. Pharah needs salt very soon. Barrage coming in here. This will be the time, right before they get choked. There it is. Huge! That's a big barrage. They didn't even look up at him, dude. Dude, this is... I t dude, Cascade is the tournament of Fera players. I swear, dude. That no one can contest Fera, and and if she's left uncontested, it's like so hard to contest. Her. Kumas finally looks like he stepped up to his role as a DPS. Huguenot's gonna have a, a huge uh, shatter coming in here. Huguenot, Huguenot, he's looking for a flank. Holy, the Sword 76 thing are good job for They need to call out McCree is flanking. Huguenot is looking for a big shatter here. Oh, he's getting charged by the Reinhardt. It's, he could get a big shatter here. Huguenot needs to pop this. Oh, Huguenot. he just gets out damage. Holy cow. And Tad just, just rolls and smokes them. Using the ultimate at the end of that fight was eh, okay, debatable. But hey, at least it's looking close now. I'm very surprised why Kuma hasn't played his mains all game long, which is Genji. We're all going left side. Where's Soul 26? Touching Soul point on the flank. A little over this metro. Flat metro. Oh, that's a huge air. Oh, huge. And they use all the huge data from well. Big Dog. And that's a uh, a flank visor that's only getting one, so that was a waste from the soldier. And Bear is gonna get staggered here. Unlucky, go again. You're going to live. SMM is cl coming close to their um, their grab here. Could be a huge one. Could be a huge grab from Blue coming in here. They need it. Barrage they need coming in grab now. Here. Oh, they're getting. Oh, Kuma with a decent barrage. It's four v four right now. What was that Les? The Les is very risky, but it oh, oh no. that's a decent grab, but it gets trans. It looks like and SMM's gonna lose this. Kuma just popping off, dude. Kuma has decided to finally show up. He is bringing his heat. But Tad is bringing back. Oh, cow. Mercury is solo thing. He's a pine. Don't leave boy. Don't see nine. Oh, man. <laughs> they almost lost to a solo McCree. 
This Ryan is probably gonna get picked off though. Yeah, but he's just gonna get picked oh off. Oh my no. god. They're gonna retake. SMM is gonna retake this. Holy cow, what was that? Huge DPS plays on both sides. But you can see Kuma has finally started giving them, making them sweat, and is really making space for a lot of his team. This is what we wanted to see from the beginning. Oh, he's gonna Moira ult the Falcon Mercy. <laughs> laser, laser it down, laser it down. More, oh, the soldier's down, but he's getting rezzed out in the middle of the open. Soldier's getting rezzed. He's gonna get picked off again. He's in. He's in their whole team. He's in team. And that's a from Tada. And they're just gonna push, clean up, and they're gonna. Oh, that's a solo shatter on the on the SMM Reinhardt. And that's a Hoggle coming in. He's just gonna end up dying. And who's gonna? Oh, Fair ends up touching, but that's it's. A, feels it's bad, man. But hey, look at that. Aquamander has bought it very close. If we saw this, the soldier, the soldier on Aqua is just feeding. What is he doing? I don't, I don't, <laughs> I don't know why they have a soldier, dude. Oh, he's back on Farah now. Biggest team and should. In Five, four, oh, he's on Trace three, right now. Two, one. This Farah is just gonna completely carry, dude. I feel like. I think Tada is gonna completely carry, bro. Mm -hmm. Farah really needs. To, it's a fair battle now. It has to be huge. Ooh, Kuma with a shot. Just gets healed up though. Ooh, now Tada with a shot. Oh, oh, he, get, oh he gets the fair down to one HP. But there's no one. But they're winning the ground war, so it doesn't matter. They're already up two. And Kuma's gonna get oh, wow. out. Kuma is almost equally matched in the fair battle against Tada. Yeah, but look at Tada's old charge though. He's doing way more work. Just by. Compared to Kuma, Kuma, Kuma get the Kuma wins. Tada goes, Tada goes way too deep right there. Is he gonna get rezzed? Probably not. He's he in front of him. I think he's too deep. And then Mercy kill. gets picked off too. Kuma oh my God. Carry Kuma. this fight. Kuma's he coming up. Big. Kuma gets another kill another right there. Another one. Mine is going deep on the Zoya, but he dies. Oh wow, unlucky. A huge attack. I think Samba might be the best first kill. Looks like Team Aqua is going to end up capping this. Wow. Aqua is finally giving a fight. But there's still a fair just messing around on point that needs to be dealt with. So both, they have a barrage grab. Wow. Oh yeah, they got barrage grab combo. Yeah, probably end up. Oh, Ooh. Kuma. Oh, Kuma Ooh. gets picked. Tada gets hacked. Oh, he to kill him the mercy. Kill the fair in the back, please. He's hacked, but he's still alive somehow. Kuma is rolling and smoking them. Oh, he's using his ult. Oh, it's huge. Tada with a huge barrage. Oh my god, they can win this. And they didn't even have to use their grab. It's just a somber on the point. And they cap. Wow. And they have grab dragons for next fight. This is actually huge for SMM. Grab dragons can be countered by Sambe as long as Zemha can time it correctly. But if he doesn't, then GG go again. This could be a huge opportunity for a grab right here. Five oh! oh. <laughs> Oh, they don't even need the grab. They're just they're just gonna win this fight. Mercy's going for a, a res right out in the middle of the open. He gets punished, but keeps him alive, gets him back. Counter Val comes out. Oh yeah, they're feeding now. Their Lucio still hasn't used B yet. Team Aqua. And how we're still and we're still waiting for grab to come out as well. Be a huge grab that ends the game right here. 
grab dragons or grab blood depending off Beats coming in, he's gonna grab after this. What a cool nice shot. It's a big grab, it's a big grab. But there's no follow-up on it. No follow-up damage and it's tied. Both people are two men down. Now a battle of the DPS. Which one could do better? Oh, Puma's bringing the pain. Sound period. Coming in from SMM. They need to kill the Mercy, they need to focus the healer. Oh, that's a big barrage from Kuma. Oh, but he gets shot down by the Hanzo. Oh, oh my god, that's a huge barrage. And they're going to end up just taking this. Wow. These far up plays today, man. They're really trying to. They're really trying to impress Cheesy. <laughs> Heck yeah, dude. Mission accomplished.